Honestly, Monkey Riot is such a sad player and the fact that Caillou devs agree with it is ridiculous. He got exposed that he literally asked for a Halloween Kaiju that's now known as Cleric Muto, but apparently the devs were working on Volcanic Bio. Riot apparently threatened them that he wouldn't make any more videos if they didn't make the design in Broderton game. Imagine how much stress that gave them. Not to mention, you know his admin panel? Yeah, he begged for that too while he was originally only allowed to use it in private servers. He again threatened if he wasn't allowed to use it in public servers because he wanted to feel like a god this is why you see him abuse his powers just for the sake of kills and g-cells because all his max kaiju aren't grinded for yeah he even begged for all the kaijus maxed out okay so for some reason some people are trying to cancel me some people in my discord sent me this screenshot this morning i can't remember exactly who's doing it they told me his name a few times i don't want to mention him because odds are that he just heard some crazy outlandish lies and went along with them and i don't want to ruin his reputation plus i keep forgetting his damn name so like i can't mention it even if, <laughs> if i wanted to okay he got exposed and he literally asked for a halloween kaiju that's now known as cleric muto but apparently the devs were working on volcanic bio Cleric Muto is from like some game blood something blood it's from some literal franchise like an actual game that exists I didn't even know that dude I've never played the game before in my life when Cleric Muto released in the video I was just like what's this dude where'd this thing come from because again I've never played the game where Cleric Muto is from in my life I only played freaking Halo and Batman games till I was like 25 so one I didn't even know a Cleric anything existed so I don't know how I could possibly request it and two me and Varet are like friends. We're not the kind of, like, it's not like a weird relationship where I'm like, all right, Varet, these are my demands for the month and this is what you're going to do about it. It's like that Varet, when he's, Varet's a grown man, dude. He'd be like, what the crap are you talking about? Get out of here, you weirdo. Like, oh, you're not going to post Kaiju Universe anymore? Oh no, now only hundreds of other people will post Kaiju Universe videos. If I made a threat that I'm not going to post Kaiju anymore, Varet would just laugh at me because that's the reasonable response to do when someone makes a weird threat like that. It's just not a logical thing. Once you get past like your adult stage in life and you're like, it's like, it's not something adults do. Like you don't make weird terrorist threats like this against other people for demands. Like everyone, everyone would just laugh at you. And the other thing, if you go into my Discord, it's very on record. I was openly cheering for a volcanic pumpkin bio or whatever. I was, that's what I was wishing for. I didn't even know the possibility of a cleric Muto existed. I was literally cheering for what you're accusing me of telling Varen to abandon. Not to mention, his, you know, his admin panel. Yeah, he begged for that too while he was originally only allowed to use it in private servers. He threatened if he wasn't allowed to use it in public servers because he, he wanted to feel like a god. This is why you see him abuse his power just for the sake of kills and G-cells because all his max kaiju are grinded for. Okay, I didn't know a box existed. I've never seen a stat box in any game before in my life. Did, can you think of a single game in the world where you could pull up a stat box like that? No, because they didn't exist. I can't I can't demand something that's never existed before. The Kaiju Universe developers make a deal with YouTubers where they're, they're more than happy to do as many events for you as you want and as they want as long as you only play play the specific games that they approve which i'm sure is very political and all types of messiness on its own but i don't really care about that the point is for th those events all that stuff that was all Varet's idea i wasn't like i didn't even know i don't know anything's possible to do in kaiju universe until Varet tells me it's possible i'll be like hey Varet, can we make the kaiju a tiny bit bigger or a tiny bit smaller is that possible he's like oh we can do everything we can make it faster this this we can do this i'm like no way is there any way i could have access to that at which point he replied they're working on a stat box for all youtubers to be able to use for their videos and stuff like that that's the funny thing all the stuff they're accusing me of demanding for myself is available to all youtubers who post kaiju universe like do you get on captain cappy for having all his kaiju maxed by Varet or anything or is it just me do you just get mad at me for it because cappy didn't request it either neither did i nobody did Varet just goes out of his way to do awesome stuff for people and that's literally how it like i don't like what when I posted my Max Destroya video, I maxed my Destroya in four days, dude. I didn't sleep for like four days maxing my Destroya. And you dare accuse me of being someone who's too lazy to max my own Kaiju? Unbelievable. You know what's funny is the reason it was first used on public servers is because we were trying to host another private event. And for, so sometimes events can be the messiest thing on the planet because sometimes a lot of people join 
just a troll. We literally just didn't have time to do a private event that day. And Beret was like, ah, oh, just use it on a public server. It'll be fine. And then, and then there on after that, I've been using this stuff in public servers. There was no massive conspiracy or anything like that. It was literally just, it takes like 20 to 30 minutes to set, set up an event at a private server. You got to get everyone in the same spot. Everyone knew this, everyone knew that. Or we could have just hopped in a public server and it would have taken minutes. And that's what we did. And it turns out it's way easier. He is a disgusting YouTuber. And the fact that he got exposed makes this even worse. Two hours after the video was posted, it got deleted by YouTube because it was quote unquote bullying. But many already saw the video, including me. The fact that when you talk about this subject, blah, 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 there's more that my buddy didn't screenshot for me. First off, posting a video of all this, as long as you're happy, as long as you spend your time doing stuff that makes you happy, I just, I, I, I do recommend like, going to the gym, you know, talking to women, touching grass. Playing video games is awesome. And I can easily do it all day forever. But this isn't playing video games. This is just making crazy random hate speech accusations based on nothing. For a disgusting YouTuber, I just showered, bro. I showered twice a day. How am I disgusting in any way, shape, or form? I am clean. Look at my hands. Look how clean they are. Unless he means disgusting as in like vile and snaky and a liar and stuff like that. Literally all I've ever done is just get more people on the Kaiju universe. These videos why Verrett is okay with helping me make them is because it's free advertisement to Kaiju Universe. Every time you post a video of Kaiju Universe and it's gone months without an update, stuff like that, you're helping Kaiju Universe stay relevant. I'm not saying it needs help staying relevant. Obviously, it's like the greatest Godzilla PvP game to exist. The monkey's coming back at me. No way. But still, dude, even freaking McDonald's has commercials. McDonald's is a multi-billion dollar franchise that doesn't need help at all. But they still have commercials because free advertisement is always needed to maintain a franchise. Even the freaking army has commercials. No one's forgetting the army exists, but the army recognizes too. You gotta have advertisement constantly. It's just part of the way the world works. So Verette's always more than happy to help out YouTubers and stuff like that, make stuff for their content for Kaiju Universe because it's free advertisement and it helps keep the game relevant. It's literally how the economy works. Not even sure what other crazy accusations of this to address so I could feel like a god. Bro, I'm 6'2", 190 pounds of muscle. I've been boxing for like six years. I assure you, I already feel like a god when I walk down the street. It's fantastic. It's for the sake of kills and G-cells. Bro, I, I have 5 million G-cells. That's not a lot at all. I'll, I, there's pros who have like 10, like literally 100 times more than me. But why would I ever need G-cells? 5 million, you could retire off 5 million G-cells. Like I will never need more than that in my entire freaking life. There's not gonna be any kaiju being added that costs millions of G-cells and stuff like that. It's just never gonna happen. I don't understand why I would even need more G-cells. And if I cared about kills, you know how many scummy YouTubers that I know that I would never rat out because I don't like drama that just have their subscribers come to them constantly so they could kill them over and over and over again? Non-stop! You don't think I could do that? I could easily do that easily. I could just turn my joints on and be like, everyone come to me in Tokyo and let me kill you. And I could just do that for an hour. I would get, I would get thousands of kills in a day. But I don't want to do stuff the cheaty on an honest way because it's not fun. Otherwise, I would. And it'd be, you, you see how little my G-cells go up? This right here is literally how a typical Riot and Verrett conversation goes down. So to think I'm holding him hostage is just hilarious. But bless your soul, I'm sure you're a great lad who just heard a bunch of crazy rumors and got wept, like, swept up into the drama of the whole thing. Oh my god, this guy just reminded me. He's asking for Thermo in the chat. Do you know how many people I've gifted Kaiji to also? Like well over 100 people. And I've literally lost at least $1,000 in Robux just in my subscriber events over the past two years. I've done so much, you little dingleberry. Like, <laughs> See, he's literally just requesting it for me. Everywhere I go, everyone just asks for Kaiju. But half the time, I give it to him. So I'm freaking awesome. So yeah, leave a like on the video, subscribe, comment any other accusations you have down below. And I'll see you guys next time.